Hello, today we will start with test design. And just like test analysis, we will start by talking about the objectives first. So let's start the lesson. You can see here that the question that guides us has changed completely. In test analysis, we ask ourselves what to test. In test design, we ask ourselves how to test. Now the first objective of test design is the test conditions are elaborated into high level test cases. We already know how to create test conditions. These are made in the test analysis stage. Using these conditions as input, we now have to create high level test cases. That will be called a test design. Now you remember this example. From the requirement, we found testable features from which we extracted the test conditions. Now in the design stage, we have to write a high level test case, which will address how to test these conditions. Let's see what such a test design would look like. In the design, you can write two test cases to show how you intend to test these test conditions. The first test case says, you have to switch on power, then open the door, then check if light is on, then switch off power. Similarly, in test case two, you have to switch on the power, close the door, check if light is off, then switch off power. These two tell us how we have to test the test conditions. Hope that was clear. Test analysis gave us the test conditions, what we have to test. And test design gave us these test cases, how we have to test the conditions. The next objective is identification of defects in the test basis. We have to read the test basis and the test conditions to figure out if there are any problems with them. Test design is not just an activity to create test cases. You also have to check the documents you are referring to for errors. And if you find a mistake, then you have to inform the analysis team that something is missing or inaccurate here. And that's that. Until next time, happy testing.